I'm here. Don't talk such <laughs> don't talk such rubbish. Um, a wizard is never late. Exactly. How we doing, everyone? We all right? We all right? Good, 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 good. Well, what's changed since last week? Well, I'm now an affiliate. Um, Verity's fine. Verity's, but she's still alive. Yeah, I'm, I'm an affiliate now. So, um, yeah, um, you guys can subscribe. And uh, a lot of you have, which is amazing. I didn't expect so many people to subscribe, really. Um, as Pogfest has said, get in. Because he's subscribed, so he can say, get in. Um, if you can't afford it, I think you can uh, sign up to Amazon Prime. And, and do it for free. And everyone's a winner. Thank you. I can't see who's... Stinky something. I can't see. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Dinky for Sebo4. Stinky McStinkson, which is an unbelievable name. Niels has just subscribed. And yeah, you'll get some privileges, I presume. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my gosh, says Majesco. Well, soon there'll be an oh my god emote when I can, when I've saved up for more emotes. Insta Rage, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I've got a list here that <laughs> I was planning to read out of all the people who have subscribed. And I'm going to do it. Uh, this isn't including the ones that subscribed last week. So quick shout out to Poddy666, Sader, Rexterminator. It's just funny reading these names out. Re Revillos Miss, M4IT91, Eric P69, CJ Binderhouse. Oh, CJB in the house. Sam Tyler. Isaac Sunderland. Heinhab. Jonathan PBK. Serveyard. Rob C83. Slightly older viewer. Good range of ages here. Ross Crawley. GS87. Nixta. Scotty Dew85. Mog Trog. Wabada Hugo. <laughs> Rocky the Pup. Cameron Cafe 10A. Torg Time, Zwerg, Benjamin, Limbo Limbo, who so, who mods for me. Thanks to all my mods. You do a great job. BT Heist 478, Tinken Kavili. Who was that? That was T Siddons 98. That isn't enough names, mate. There's still some more. I nom food lie NM crazy Betel Guise ninety three Donald Rob Dr Space Time twelve Shutters and Colin Crunch. Get on with it! I know. By the way, check out this shirt. Look at that. Anyone into football? That is the most retro shirt. Do you remember that shop? Birthdays. That is a throwback, isn't it? Yeah, I'm wearing it like Eric Cantona because when it's down, it looks a bit, I don't know. For, for stream, yeah, the popped collar for stream purposes is pretty cool, I think. It ain't ugly. It's 90s. It's 1995 Berry Away shirt. Don't diss Berry because they now don't exist. Okay? They, they have ceased to exist. It is unbelievably ugly. No, it's Berry FC. I got it from um, a website. Yeah, Rip Berry. It's spelled B-U-R-Y. Um, I got it from a, a website called Retro Football Shirts or something like that. <laughs> it hurts my eyes, says Jabba Wabs. I'm sure you're not alone there. Um, yeah, so, you know, you can subscribe. Thanks for everyone who has done so. There's benefits like... Um, Hype trains and badges and emotes and shit. I don't support them. I just thought it was a hilarious shirt. More advice for cycling across Europe. What do you want to know? Thank you, Jabberwabs and YOLO Swagger. 
Yeah, what do you want to know about the bike trip advice? Happy to give advice. <laughs> Thanks, Gui MCF. What to bring on the bike trip? Um, I didn't take a lot of stuff. I can't tell you how to ride a bike, mate. That's just... If if your parents never bought you a bike when you're young, then I can't I can't help you there. Um, yeah, a couple of spare inner tubes. I saved one thousand five hundred quid, I think, for a for a six month trip, seven month, sorry, seven week trip. Places to avoid. I don't know, mate. I guess certain areas of certain cities, but I didn't take a tent. I uh, I didn't take a tent. I just aimed for cities really i did sleep out in the open a couple of times like um on a park bench on a picnic bench and things like that tonight guys we are doing yeah i took a sleeping bag um i took some short i think i took two pairs of shorts for the whole thing a pair of jeans to go out in to have some wild nights out in munich and dusseldorf Thank you, G4ROXXX, for subscribing. Yeah, tonight, guys, uh, to answer your question, we are, we're having a bit of a chilled one. It's always a chilled one, isn't it? Let's face it. It's either chilled or ridiculously chaotic. Um, it won't be as chaotic as last week, though, I don't think, because we got raided by Antoine Daniel. That was unbelievable. I didn't know what was happening. Uh, I didn't sleep in your garden in Munich, no. Hello from Kosovo. Um, so yeah, and then and then we're going to do a bit of. Um, we are going to do a bit of no moving, scrolling or zooming. And then we're going to do a bit of rate my shithole, uh, rate my hometown, and then we're going to do. Sh shall I rename it rate my shithole? That'd be really funny, but it might. It might not be allowed on YouTube. I don't know. Um, <laughs> thank you, Cosmic Dingo. And then we're going to do a bit of... Um, yeah, I'm going to do a collab with Jack Sucks at Geography or Jack Sucks at Life. I'm, I'm in... <laughs> I'm in the process. I'd say in a couple of weeks' time, I'll have a new computer. So collabs, tournaments, everything from then on. That's when it's going to happen. I'm going to do a collab with Antoine Daniel as well. If if he said he would do it, but um, you know, it's whether he sticks to his word, whether I stick to my word. No, I will. Don't worry. Wild animals on the trip. Saw some deer. I got lost a lot, so I ended up in like woods and stuff. So I did see a lot of deer. I hope you like these little messages that are coming up when people follow me and subscribe me. So, you're liking that. And then we're going to do five rounds again of um, Street View Bingo. How funny was that last week? It was, it turned into a French affair and um, I don't regret it. It was brilliant. So, we'll see. Let's see if we get taken over by some, I don't know, Mongolian person. We'll have to do a Google Street View in Mongolia. Who knows? Thanks, Nerdy Fighter. Can you recommend a healthy takeaway for tonight? I don't think there's such thing, is there? Don't think there's such thing. We all here. Is this mic too loud, by the way? Is it kind of, is it peaking? Is it peaking duck? Did I actually lose the hat? I did, genuinely. I, and I don't know where I, I don't know where I lost it either. I don't know where I lost my hat. Sorry, I'm talking about the... Um, Rihanna Hope says, where is Verity? She's over there. I was talking about the lockdown mission and not all of you have seen that, but you will one day, don't worry. Hype train is at 87%. I don't know what a hype train is. <laughs> Ed Pratt, he's unicycled the world. Oh, it's on It's on 100% the hype train. Yay! Everyone wins. Um, do you know, that kind of sums up for me 
how everything's been done. I mean, fair play to the guy. I could not unicycle around the world, but, you know, everything has been done. Like, if I wanted to do Land's End to John O'Groats on a, a unicycle, the record's probably four days. Do you know what I mean? It, it's There isn't a lot of places on this earth that haven't been... Um, explored there aren't many mountains that haven't been climbed I think you'd have to go to the furthest reaches of like Antarctica to find a decently high mountain that's never been done um, so that's why I, I that's one of the reasons I started doing what I do the straight line missions because not many people are as mad and disrespectful <laughs> enough to do it um, but Land's End to John O'Groats in a, in a straight line. I've been thinking about that today, actually. Not a, not actually a straight line, but the shortest distance possible. That would be cool. So you'd go on roads some of the time. You'd go on country lanes and tracks and cycle paths some of the time. But then the rest of the time, you would um, I'd cut through fields and do little straight line missions here and there to cut off corners. I think that would be good, but it would take <laughs> it would take a long time, probably thirty five days. What's everyone laughing at? Unpop my collar, no way, mate, no way. You can sub now, you can indeed, I think you can donate if you want. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'll sort that out. Luxembourg, well. I'm definitely going to walk across Luxembourg. There's a little spoiler for you. I am going to walk across Luxembourg at some point. If someone hasn't done it before me, someone's probably done it by now, and they're, they're editing it up. All right, should we begin with some um, GeoGuessr? No moving, scrolling, or zooming. I wish I could play. United Kingdom and try and get a fast time but look what happens you can tell just by how long it's taken to load up that it ain't gonna happen thank you emotion 2k15 look it's just too slow and that's why in two weeks I'll have a new computer put a lot of pressure on myself to do that but it needs to be done all right then, urban world. Urban world. Just googled hype train and still no idea what's going on. Neither do I. It's it's Sheffield. We'll never know if it was Sheffield. Um, I'm not using a Commodore, no, but that's very amusing. It's it's an Amstrad, if you must know. Um. <laughs> bit of Banks's, Banks's beer. Go out and buy some. I'm not advertising it, but it's my local brewery from Warsaw. So, oh, that's what I was gonna do before we start. What are these noises? Oh, someone gave gave me some some cheers. Thank you. Is um is geography challenges in here? Rory, are you here? If you are, make yourself heard. I'm going to make you a VIP. There's going to be a VIP in the room. If he responds. Show yourself, Rory. How disappointing. I think he watched... Uh, I'm Rory. I'm Rory. I think he watched that abysmal Greek round the other day and I think he stopped watching me after that. I think he's disowned me. <laughs> um, Geo Challenges versus Geo Wizard. We kind of did, we kind of did have uh, a battle. It was the first of 15 countries in a row and I technically won that. So, But I think I got a bit lucky. Right, here we go. Let's play an urban world. No moving, scrolling, or zooming. Here we are. 
It's Europe. Ah, oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Is it France? Is it Netherlands? Is it Belgium? A couple of people saying Belgium. That's my instinct. It's the buildings, isn't it? All right, let's make it swift. Let's go Belgium. Zurich says specimen or speci something. Do you reckon? No, I'm going... You reckon Sweden? Oh my God, that's my mom. Which one? Which one's your mom? Her? Or her? <laughs> Come on, let's go Belgium. Let's go. I like the idea of Liège. I do like the idea of that. I think you're right. Oh, shit. It was Switzerland. It was Basel. Ba Basel. Basel. Fair play. Fair play. Not a terrible score. Let's see what we can amass here. God. I'm not feeling in the zone today. I did a cheat. Oh, God. <coughs> <coughs> it's not Tottenham Hot Spurs, mate. It's Berry. Look. The now defunct Berry FC. Yeah, it's US. Whereabouts? Do you think? Do you think Canada? Really? Could be. I honestly can't tell this from. Look at that sign. It's brown. Where do you get brown signs, guys? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think Canada. I'm going Canada. Screw it. Ottawa. No, it's too French, isn't it? <laughs> Do you reckon it's US? Yeah, a few of you are definitely from the US watching this at 2 p.m. Or 1 p.m. or whatever time it is. All right, if it's USA, I'm going for... Cleveland. Charlotte, Carolina. North Carolina, Charlotte. Wow. Definitely had an eastern feel, didn't it? But honestly, I cannot do those when it's... Especially with uh, little practice. I mean, when it's winter... I've said this before countless times, but... If it's winter and it's down south, it can look so northern to me, to my eyes. And vice versa, if it's summer up north... If it's summer in Canada, on the plains, it looks like bloody Texas to me. It really does. It looks like Oklahoma. Uh, it's only when you've played it a lot you can uh, figure that shit out. Next one. The Pax. The Pax. Korea, yeah? South Korea. I don't see any um, any dot. Oh wait, yeah, we have some on the road there. Yeah. Well, it's not North Korea, is it? Okay. Usually, when it's overcast, I go north. For some reason. Jordan Benford, thanks, mate. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. I'm sorry, I can't read you all out. Let's go, Gimpo. Even though it's... No, <laughs> that's stupid. Do San, do you reckon? No, I think I think you're wrong. I think it's Incheon. 100% Incheon, without a shadow of a doubt. Absolutely no way it could be anywhere else. Oh, what? <laughs> it was this place. Gang Nguing. Gang Nguing. Perfect. No, no, not Japan. That's not bad. I got the right northness. Oh, wow. That's a bit trickier. Well, that's Japan, isn't it? What are you saying? Yeah, you're saying Japan. Apart from Fear the anth Anthrax, who's saying LA. Okay, Japan. We're going Japan. 
Where do you reckon in Japan, Verity? Um, Hiroshima. Hiroshima, says Verity. Any reason? No. No reason at all. Come on. Come on. Oh, it was Tokyo. You haven't heard of it? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, well. Hiroshima, bomb place, says Lars. Why do I read these things out? I don't know. And <laughs> next one. Dude pissing up a wall here. African guy. What's that in the distance? I'm rearing my head. W A E C. Is it Wa? Is it that place Wa? Where is that? Wa? Is it in Ghana? There it is. But that's only half the word, to be fair. Wa E C bus stop. Is this Africa? This can't be Wa. You can't, it's too, the, the building's too big. I think, I think Northampton as well. Yeah, Southern Africa. <laughs> yeah, I think it's South Africa. It can't be war, it's too built up. I wonder if there's a place called WAEC. Driving on the right. Shit. Oh, my God. That was a close shave. So, it's got to be... Let's go Nigeria. They drive on the right, don't they? Yes, they do. There we go. That's not bad. Should have gone Lagos. Butcha! That's not insane, but it's not bad. Let me see your get-ins. GeoWizard found my house. Welcome aboard, mate. Give me some get-ins. There should be four emotes, but I think only one of them's been approved. Sorry about that. They'll be ready on Thursday. <sighs> okay, let's play again. That's not a bad score. That's not terrible. Should we play an urban world again? Or should we play somewhat else? Let's do another one of these quick. Hmm? Right. Oh, you can't see the compass. Sorry. Oh. There you go. I'll make myself smaller as well. I'll put me there, shall I? Right. Hmm. Does kind of look like Prague, the buildings. Hmm. Could be Poland, though, couldn't it? Could be Netherlands. Yeah. Do you think it's Amsterdam? Didn't strike me as Netherlands when I first when I first came on it. What's that what's that flag up there? That's what I'm trying to look at. What is that? I don't know what that flag is. All right, um, yeah, let's try somewhere in Belgium then. Let's try, I'll go Liège again. If I keep clicking Liège, we're bound to get it at some point. Hey, that's not bad. Namur. That's a nice little earner to kick things off. 4812, not bad. That's Belgium. So the correct country. Oof. 
can see an EU thing there. Can I read this writing? Hotel Babanca. A few of you are saying Portugal, a few of you are saying Greece. I would say Portugal out of the two. People saying everything here. Even Morocco. The get in is emote is an emote that you can only unlock if you subscribe, but I don't expect all of you to do that. Um This is a tough one. Let's go Portugal. I don't think the roofs are Greek. I think they're too orange. Geo Challenges got this the other day. Okay. Um well I didn't watch that, you'll be pleased to know. Let's go. Uh, let's go a bit further up. Tomar, because it's got my name in it. Even though it's at, at the bottom of a river valley. Ah, oh, Braga. Braga. Good football team. Well, they, they did at one point. Better than, better than Berry anyway. This one. God, that could be a number of places, couldn't it? Is that one of those rental bikes? No, it's not, is it? I don't know what tho those poles are. I don't know where you get those poles. Um, let's think. Can we see where the sun is coming from? Yeah, we can. It's in the south. So we are in the northern hemisphere, which I would have thought anyway. I'm going to go, just to be different, Tartu, Estonia. This is going to be way off, but screw it. Got to inject some variety into here. No, everyone's saying no. Screw it, I'm going for it. Oh, man. That is a poor guess. <laughs> Antwerp. Look, that was... That was hard. It's boring to go Belgium every time. Wow, this is an interesting one. That is different. Feels like... South America. Look at these murals on here. Bolivia, Mexico, yeah. I don't think it's Bolivia. Could be Mexico, couldn't it? Yeah. Quantwerp. <laughs> Could it be Costa Rica? Some people are saying it's Texas. Look at that W and M. Yeah, I think it's a one-way street. Do you reckon Texas? Costa Rica does have street view in places. All right, I'm going. I'm gonna go Mexico, but quite far north. Hmm. Thank you, Bontilla. Waste management. Is that waste management? Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. It can't be can't be Mexico, can it? All right, El Paso, yeah. I think that's what we're talking about. Good evening. Oh my god. Look how far north it was. Oakland. That's mad. Ha. Huh. That really did look that's right in the middle as well. 
Didn't we? We drove through there. We got lost around there somewhere. That's mad. You know, first impressions can really skew your uh, opinion, can't they? That's rough, yeah. Okay. Is this the last one? This is the last one. We can do one more after this. I don't mind that. Um, H&M bag in there. That's a European company, isn't it? Or are they all over the world? I'm not seeing EU plates. Kazakhstan. Do we have a flag? Oh, there's a flag over there. It's French, isn't it? What is that? H&M all over. Yeah. Where's the sun? Sun is in the s directly in the south. Look at that. So we are in the northern hemisphere. Can't be in the southern hemisphere. Ain't that Ain't that a Mexican flag? Romanian flag. Ah, yeah. That looks a bit like that palace on um, Top Gear, doesn't it? Go on then, let's say that's a Romanian flag. I, I, can, I can believe that. The only thing is the lack of EU plates on there, man. Yeah. Lack of EU plates, mate. That's confusing. This is a tough one, I won't lie. Steering wheel is on the right side. Oh, yeah. Good point. I am not clocking stuff today. Yeah, that yeah. I wasn't sure, but I would thought this might have been a one-way thing. The steering wheel is on the right side on this car. So where does that put us? <laughs> that flag over there is really confusing me. Can't be Russia. They're dri he's driving on the right. Steering wheel on the right side in more than one car. Uh. They look they look kind of Chinese to me as well. Like uh, they look Oriental. Steering wheel is on the left in the other car. Which one? No, it's on the right. Jesus, man. All right. Mongolia? Statue of Genghis Khan. Where the hell is that? Yeah, I'm going Mongolia. They look oriental. Screw it. I think that flag is is a real red herring that we need to we need to look past. I thought Moldova. It does look like Moldova, doesn't it? But I don't think it is. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that without you guys. So they, they were driving on the right, but the steering wheel was also on the right. 
Honestly, I couldn't have done that without you lot. I was very flummoxed by that. The flag was not the Mongolian flag. I have listened to Bad Company, yeah. Great band. Sure, I haven't listened to as much as I should. Do you want to play it once more? That's not an insane guess, no, no. Do I know Antoine Daniel? He rings a bell. No, uh, he actually raided my channel last week. And it was mental. He dumped 8,000 people. Viewers, French viewers. They, it was hundreds of comments per second saying, saying the same thing. Hi from France. Hi from France. A million times over. I didn't know what was going on. But I thanked him afterwards. Yeah, he's apparently he thinks I'm all right. So, um, this looks like the south of France, or I don't know, maybe even Switzerland or something. Even though it's flat, it's that kind of climate. Trees-wise, yeah, I guess it could be further north. Yeah, but look, you've got palm trees over there, palm tripe type trees. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with my I don't know, my my hunch here. I'm actually gonna go Reminds me a lot of Lausanne where me and Greg missioned our way through. It ain't, but I'm going here. Ah, Bill Bow. Yeah. Wow, I've actually been there as well. Look at that. It's by the Guggenheim Museum. Temporarily closed. I've bloody been there. I've walked around that bloody road. See the palm trees. Yeah, I should have gone even more south. Oh, well, that's not... Well, no, that is bad. Next one. Bilbao Baggins, yeah. Okay. What's this? Is this... Well, this is a one-way system again. Guy driving on the left. It's got to be Japan then, hasn't it? Yeah. He's driving on the left. Apparently, we're having, we've got word that that flag was the Canadian flag and that was the Canadian embassy in Ulaanbaatar. That's crazy. Right, Verity, do you want to redeem yourself? Yeah. All right, fair enough. Um, I'm actually going to go Hiroshima, funnily enough. Hiroshima, Hiroshima, potato, potato. I am, I'm going to go here. Oh, Sendai. Fukushima would have been a much better guess. Because that is way away. Another crap score. Sendai. Has Verity ever tried to talk you out of a mission and succeeded? Mm, probably. What was that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she has. Um... I was going to, I couldn't have done it in the end anyway because my ankle was too bad, but when we were in the United States, um, she, I, I wanted to walk <laughs> through Compton in a straight line, about five miles, because it's all straight roads in LA, isn't it? And um, Verity was like, there is no way you're doing that. And um, we also got more advice from other people who said, I wouldn't do that, mate, if I were you. Straight through Compton. I don't know. I just thought I could like charm my way through it by being in like British, you know. Like, dog, are you from England, dog? I don't know. But in reality, they would have just probably robbed my camera and uh, just robbed me. And uh, there would have been no footage to speak of. And I'd have said, do you mind if I keep the footage? And they'd be like, you mad, dog? They probably wouldn't use the word dog. I'm probably being um, 
kind. Anyway, where do we think we are? This looks like uh, Australia to me. Sun, where's the sun? It's in the northern hemisphere. So we're in the southern hemisphere. Do it naked, then you can't get robbed. That's a good point. I'd still get beat the sh I'd get my cock chopped off, though. So I'd rather be robbed in the long run. Um, let's have a look. Could we be... I mean, I guess we could be in South Africa. Is that what people are thinking? I didn't even consider it, to be honest. I think it... Could we be in Western Australia here, guys? In, like, Geraldton? I don't know. Probably not, because there's way more... Way more stuff over on this side. Alright, I'm going... I'm actually going Mackay. I'm going Mackay. Let's find a curvy road in Mackay. Is there a curvy one? I don't see many curvy ones. There's one. Can you imagine if this is it? Oh, Alice Springs, mate. Fuck me, can't. That's way out in nowhere, mate. Middle of nowhere. There's the curvy road, though. We're on Nicker Crescent, mate. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Yeah, that's not far. Only only a thousand miles. Oh, thanks for the get-ins. Thanks, Holiday X today, for signing up. And Lel and Elliot. Love you all. I'm having fun doing this. I might just do this all night. Um, that says Canal. And then Votre, I reckon Tunisia. I'm calling it right now, Tunisia. You can have your word, but... Yeah, the sun is, is to the south, look. A little bit. It's the word Votre on there, V-O-T-R-E, it's French. I would say Morocco, but they don't... They don't have it, fam. Tunisia. They are driving on the right. You're right. Yeah, they do drive on the right in Tunisia. Wouldn't be Morocco because they don't have it on Google Street View. So, at least not a lot. Okay, so it's a big road. It's four lanes wide. So, how about here? I don't know, where's a big, where's a big chubster, big chubby road? Maybe here. N8. I hope I'm right here because I've been so sure of myself. What the hell? Oh, mate. How embarrassing. It's Dakar. <laughs> Sorry, Stinky McStinkerson. I had a stinker. It's Dakar. I thought it was uh, too built up, I guess. Wow. Next round. Get out. Yeah. Germany. I'm going in. I'm going right in. Here we go. You ready for a corker? Let's go Hanover. I hope I'm not right now because people are going to think I've had it before. I haven't. Here we go. Oh, Munich. <coughs> uh. Yeah, get in. Yeah. Someone told me about a map called... Um, uh, a Complete World. I found it. Apparently it's got every single country. <laughs> I did fuck it up, I know. Uh, apparently it's got every single country in the world. Let's give it a go, just quickly. 
Now this really could, I really could fuck this up because uh, it will have countries that I've never even thought to, to choose before. Denmark, Rill, Turkey. Oh dear. I'm thinking I, I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to pick the most obscure country here. I'm, I'm, all right, where's the sun? There is no sun. I'm going Namibia. Namibia. Because I know it's very sandy over here on the skeleton coast. Wait, is that the sea over there? No, the sea's behind us, isn't it? Oh! It's India. Who said India? Namibia. I don't think anyone said India, but isn't that where you can try and walk across using these? Uh, I wouldn't recommend that, actually. Yeah, close call. Close call there. Next one. This is interesting, isn't it? I'll have to make a video out of this. Someone told me it's got every single country. Isag. Ikag. This is Africa. Driving on the right, it's Africa. Let's go Tanzania. No, because it's it actually has street view, doesn't it? Alright, I'm going Uganda then. No, they're driving on the right. Can't be, can't be. Sorry, sorry. God, my brain today. I haven't stopped working today. Yeah, they're driving on the right, so... Yeah. I think Ghana is a good bet. Cape Coast. I moved, I know, I'm sorry. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad, not bad. It's, it's, doesn't count though, I moved. Oh my God. So far, we haven't had a, a particularly obscure country, have we? H-U-F-C there. H-U-F-C. What football club would H-U-F-C be? Honduras. Hull. Huddersfield. Yeah, let's go Honduras. I can believe that. Let's go in the capital. I mean, it's, it's obviously not Honduras FC, but I like the idea of it. Oh, my. What? That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. We're going for obscure countries here. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. Got to be India, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm going to make a get out emote so you can rinse me. Now, this is India, surely. Brunei. Bangladesh. No, they're not Muslim. They're not, it's not Islam. It's Hindu, isn't it? I can't, I can't, I can't see it being anything. <laughs> I know that man. I can't see it being anything other than India. Let's go Surat, because they look happy. So they're near the sea. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Who said Goa? Is that Goa? No, it's not. Next one, last one. And then we're moving on to rate my hometown. I'm doing five and five only. Look at that old larder. Is that a larder? Now, this could be an obscure country, couldn't it? Look at the name. It's a Russian looking name. You can see the guy down there who's took it. I reckon Georgia. Turkmenistan, maybe. Bald and bankrupt. <laughs> no, can't see the sun glistening off his head. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go Kyrgyzstan because you, you could have Kyrgyzstan on a normal day, couldn't you? It's not Moldova. It's not wild enough. 
It's too wild for that. I'm going to go Georgia. No, because it's... All right, I'll go... I'll go Uzbekistan. How about that? Because it doesn't really matter. What was it? What was it? Look at that. It's technically Tajikistan. I think. Is that Tajikistan? I don't actually know. If it is, that's a first. That's the first time I've ever laid eyes on that country. Yeah, that is unfair. I didn't expect... Yeah, that's an in, an enclave. Exclave. I don't know. I didn't expect great things on that uh, game, but that was quite a good score in that round, actually. But some absolutely abysmal rounds there. Right. Time for some Write My Hometown. I'm doing five. I'm going to write them down. Dresden is first. Why am I writing it down? I don't need to. It's not like I can't remember. I, I do have bad memory, but it's not that bad. Dresden. Let's put it down in a part of it that wasn't flattened in the war. What am I doing? I'm on GeoGuessr. <laughs> whoa! whoa. <laughs> I have lost the plot today. I'm on Wikipedia now. Yay. <laughs> oh, my God. No, nah, that was all on purpose. I just like to make you laugh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Dresden. The old town. <laughs> the old town. Let's have a look. There, There is no old town left. Where is it? Sorry, I don't mean to joke about that, but... Oh, that's cool. I've actually been to Dresden, to be fair. I didn't come to this. Why didn't I come to this? I have to drink more beer. Yeah, you're right. I haven't drank enough beer. Yeah, it was absolutely devastated in the war. In fact, more people died from that than all of the people who died in the Blitz. And they don't teach you that at school. Oh, wow. That's sick. Oh, it's like a spa thing. Pure spa. Hello, Lisa. All right, I'm just dicking about here. Um, I want to go to that... The I want to show you something because I've actually seen this. This is it. It's an old church. Look, this is the main square, I think. Look at that. That was bombed in the war and they rebuilt it brick by brick. And that is why all the bricks are different colours, I presume, because they were just rubble. And they painstakingly put it back together. And I think that's really cool. Um, so. Good. Full marks for that. Full marks for. It's like my game of. Uh, Age of Empires the other day. Except I didn't rebuild anything. They re they did a lot of rebuilding. Yeah I like Dresden. Some nice old buildings. Same goes for that one I think. Rebuilt. I think that's a different building. Is that the one I was trying to think of? Maybe they were both rebuilt. And then quickly, if anyone's interested, where's the new bit? Is it around here? All this, this is what they built. Very modern looking shopping streets. Row after row of it. So it's cool. It's got different characters to it. The suburbs. Let's go a little bit further out. 
This is the longest I've ever spent in a city, but we're only doing five. Chris Martin from Coldplay, just on his holidays. Dresden from me is getting 7 out of 10 because I've been there and I had a bloody good time. Where's the bit? Oh, fuck it. We're, we're done here. Rory's here. Where is he? Rory. Speak up, Rory. Oh, God. Now's not a good time, mate. Um... What t-shirt am I wearing? I'll tell you in a sec. You're welcome. We are going to... We've done Perth, mate. We've done it. It was crap. No, I'm kidding. It was nice. Hey, you won't get picked with all those cap, cap blocks, mate. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I need to print screen. Print screen. Open paint. It's the only way I can do this. <laughs> Sig Luf Fjordur, Iceland. Sig Luf Fjordur. That's where we're going next. Because we haven't done one in Iceland, have we? This is it, Sigluffjordur. Is it on the north coast or what? Very north coast. Let's check it out. Love to do a road trip in Iceland. I'm also mulling over whether or not it's possible to straight line mission it. By the looks of that, possibly not. But, um, oh yeah, it's lovely. Really like Iceland. I, l I like the idea that settlers came and just made it their their home. This big volcanic lump. And they settled here and made it their own. It's a really cool country. And this is a nice little village. I would like to live here too. I'd like to retire here. Love it. Love it, mate. Your hometown's lovely. This is what this game is all about. This is what this game is all about. It's not just a road. Look, it's a football pitch. Who suggested this? What was his name? Answer me this. Did you score... Have you scored a goal in that goal on that pitch? If so, describe it. Was it a volley? Was it a looping header? I'm waiting. I want an answer. Everyone's saying yes. Bingo will be when it's... W when this is done. Several volleys. Wicked. I I'm picturing it now. Yeah, I like this place. It's really nice. And it's getting... A 7 out of 10. Because it hasn't wowed me, but it's nice. Next. <laughs> South Shields. Well done, mate. I can't get your name I can't get your names as as well because it just goes too quick. South Shields. This should be good. Oh yeah. This is Newcastle with a toy like <laughs> shit. Oh fuck that up. I didn't know what 
what what you wanted us doing tonight, Leek? What we doing tonight, Leek? We playing Street View Bingo. Terrible. It's one of the ones I can't do. I'm trying to find people to laugh at, but... <laughs> no one has ever said this should be good and Street and uh, South Shield in the same sentence. There's Lad. That is a big Lad Brooks, if ever I saw one. It's not that bad here. You got the ship and the ship and Royal. There they are. Look. Ten ten a.m. In there like clockwork. Over to Ladbrokes every half an hour to put bets on the horses. What a life. Going down King Street. Daily bargains. Post office. Shoe zone. Are you leak? What you's doing, leak? I like your cap, your Tommy Hilfiger cap. I've got to stop. Um, South Shields, you know, the sun's out. So that always bumps on two, <laughs> two points. Uh, I'm giving it a six out of ten. Six out of ten. I'm sure we'll all agree. Aw. Look at that little baby all tucked up. Next one. Hang on, geography challenges. Right, wait there. I've got to make him a VIP. Does that work? What the fuck? I don't know if that's worked. Are you a VIP now, mate? I have no idea. Sorry, everyone. I've ignored your things. Um, all right, let's do Kill Kenny. We haven't done Kill Kenny, have we? Let me know if we did this last week. I don't think we did. Did have a round here once. I remember Kilkenny Castle. I remember it. Right, let's see. See if we can find any drunkards here. What we should do... How about this for an idea? We should do a... We should do a round of Rate My Hometown, but whichever hometown you suggest, you've got to put something that I've got to find, like Kilkenny, a drunken man. I don't know. Whatever you think I'm likely to find, maybe we could do that. I can't think of a reason it wouldn't work, particularly. Um, unless you pick something too hard. This is cool. I love these hardware shops. Oh, look at this guy. He's really after some, some two-inch screws, isn't he? And some double-A batteries. He, oh. I wish more people shopped at these shops because they're closing left, right, and center. There aren't that many left. There's a hostel there. A drunken nun. Kilkenny Island. Here we are. 69. Langtons. I've done hometown roulette here. Have I? Have I? Don't think so. O'Reilly's. Marble City Barbers. Yeah, it's all right. I like it. There's, there's definitely enough pubs here. And I like that a lot. And, oh, a river. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Now, this is this is the view of the city, isn't it? Bloody lovely. What are they doing? Oh, they're spreading the word of God. We best leave him to it. Kill Kenny from me is getting. Oh look, it carries on. Look at this. It's getting eight out of ten from me, guys. Really like it. It's carried on. It's carried on beyond the river. Eight out of ten. 
like it. See you later, Geography Challenges. You're here. I've finally seen you. And you're going home. Oh, well. This is the last one. Charlevoix. Charlevoix. Charlevoix, Michigan. Oh, nice. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, Door UK. Sorry, everyone else. Clan Fair. Puch, blah, 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 Groningen. We'll do you soon. We'll do Groningen soon. But this looks nice. What's it on? It's on the... That's interesting. It's Lake Michigan. And a little mini lake. <coughs> Lake Charlevoix that flows into it from Boyne City. This is interesting. Makes me want to go here and just go for a swim in the lake. A little round lake. Let's check it out. Interesting geography of this place. Oh, yeah. You knew what you were doing here by suggesting this, didn't you? This reminds me a bit of uh, Astoria. A little bit. Just in terms of the shops. It's cool. Is that round lake over there? Yeah, that's... It's really cute, this. We might have a winner today. Because I always take into account if it's American and it's good, then that gets even more marks because... There's so many soulless kind of similar looking places in America. Yeah, lovely, lovely for the US, exactly. Five out of seven. <laughs> it's cool. I like it. I'm guessing that's the main bit there. Yeah, that's the main street. It's not very big. I'll give it a... I'll give it 7 out of 10. Is that fair? What's the lake like? Hang on, hang on. What's the beach like? We can bump it up to an 8 here. Easily. That's really nice. I like it. Seven. Seven out of 10. I do like it though. 7.5. Right guys, it's time for Street View Bingo and we haven't been we haven't been raided. Yeah, the lighthouse bumped it up for 7.5. We haven't been raided. Um <laughs> Maribor, Slovenia. Yeah, we did. We went in the opposite direction me and Greg. I've been there though, man. I've been there another time and it was really nice. Really cool city. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just noticed your comment, dude. Uh, <laughs> there's a band in Britain. You'll have to forgive me. I can't remember their name. And you've just reminded me. They wrote a song about something I said, which I totally forgot I'd said. Um, I don't know what video it was on. And I can't even remember the guy's name. You'll have to remind me. But I think it was in Peru, around in Peru or Chile or something. And there was a woman called, <laughs> woman who looked like Esmeralda. And I said, um, oh, Esmeralda. What, what was it? You never did. <laughs> you never did fit in, did you? That was it. You never did fit in, did you? And this band wrote a song at, called Esmeralda and that's the main lyric Esmeralda I can't I can't remember how it goes after that but um I don't know google it is it on YouTube I think it's on YouTube Esmeralda by can't quite remember my brain's full of useless information these days 
just thought I'd share that with you because no one's ever wrote a song about something I've said before, let alone about me. Way Out. Way Out was the band's name. Yeah, that rings a bell. Right, an interracial couple. That sounds like a fun one. A few ideas of where we could go to find that. <coughs> a wild animal. Do you think... Do you think we could find a wild animal? Find a fire. Person reading a book. That's not bad. Person on a Segway. That's not bad. Find a bee's nest. That might be hard. Might be easy. Don't know. Find a snowball fight. A needle. You having a laugh? You having a laugh? A car chase. I don't know how you would. A drug addict. Could we find a drug addict? A drug dealer? Alright, we'll try and find a drug dealer. We'll go to Compton. This might end up being a, a quite an un-PC round, but... Um, a sign with poor English abroad. For those wanting the Esmeralda song, there it is. Scroll up the chat, they've they've posted it. I presume it's fine because it's uh it's a YouTube link. A Compton themed round. A hot air balloon. Yeah, okay. Let's find a hot air balloon. I might need your help with a hot air balloon, guys. I can't find my dignity. That's gone. That's long gone. I don't know what a trolley bus is. A man in a kilt. Man in a kilt. Could we do that? Do you know what? I think we can. I think we can find that in Scotland. Formula One car. Man with a sombrero. Come on, let's end on a, let's end on a zinger. A tugboat, a banana tree, taxi driver, find Esmeralda, find a limousine, crashed car, street fight, too hard. Harrison, Far Harrison Ford, a live band playing, hmm, an obese American, no. Find a fan of GeoWizard. Burnt down building, donkey, unicycle, cops in action. Barge hauling coal. Find Verity. Find Willy. A film set. Someone vomiting. I'd, I'd love to, but... Well, I wouldn't. I'd love to, but I don't think we would... Uh, find a Slav squatting and wearing Adidas. <laughs> Is that easier than you might think, then? A full kit wanker. <laughs> All right, then. We'll find a full kit wanker. <laughs> Just in honor of the kit. Right, we're done. That's such an in-betweeners phrase. Thanks, everyone. A bald-headed git. We'll have to do another, guys. This has ended up being quite un-PC. But I guess that's just what I find funny. And that's what a lot of people find funny. So screw it. Find flight 370, yeah. Um, right, first up, an interracial couple. Now, there's going to be a kind of... This is going to be opinion, really. What, what constitutes as interracial. We're going for two clearly different skin shades. That's all we're going for. Because that's the only way you can judge it. Paris, London, New York... I was thinking Rio de Janeiro, but I think you're right. I think we can go for, yeah, should we try New York? Let's try New York. I think all of them are very, very ethnically diverse, but let's go for New York. Namibia. Uh, Namibia, sorry. <laughs> okay. 
Let's go. I think Central Park. What do you reckon? It's got to be busy though, isn't it? We're best off at Times Square, really, aren't we? Yeah, let's let's go down here on uh, Fifth Ave. Let's go to Times Square. <laughs> Screw it. Right. Banambanibia. Oh, why have we gone in a shop? Black dude. No white girl by his arm, by his side. No, this is... A, we're in Old Navy. I don't know what we're doing in there. Okay, let's... <laughs> Let's go to let's go to the busy streets of Times Square. We're trying to find an interracial couple. Here we go. You be the judge. Let's see. We won't know for sure whether they're together unless they're holding hands, to be fair. So we could go for that. These are the guys that hassle you, trying to make you buy tours. Ah, no, I think they're both, it was just because his hair was so white and hers was so black. <laughs> um, they could be, she looks kind of Hispanic, but he also could be as well. So let's keep moving round. Hmm? On the steps, can we get on the steps? Oh yeah, I can change um I can change the date as well. I don't see where the steps oh yeah, here they are. Inconclusive, too inconclusive. Here we go, guys. Surely. Surely here now. Come on. Come on. Everyone looks quite bored. She looks like she's having a right shit day. He looks French. I don't know why. He's just he's on a French school trip and he's like the most charismatic kid in the year. <laughs> no. Come on. Oh, come on. What's wrong with the world? Asian white, where? Zoom out right in the middle. I don't know where I'm looking at. NBA game. Could do that. Let's change the street view. Oh, we can't, we can't. <laughs> all right, all right. Surely one of these will have, will have one. Okay, the stairs of No, the stairs are over there. Someone's put the thing down in the wrong place. Come on, come on. Keep it up. Let's keep up the tempo. Here we go. Everyone's facing the other way now. That's the problem. Bloody hell. Start thinking of other other options for this, guys. If we don't have any luck in Times Square. These two. I can't say that they're not from the same race, uh, same country. Or race, whatever, whatever. However we're defining it. Come on. Are they together? I don't know if they're together. Would you put them together? I wouldn't put them together. Would you? <laughs> I don't think... That's... It's not his mom. Is it his mom? It could be his mom, yeah. It's, I don't think they're together. I don't think they're shagging. Oh, come on. 
Come on. <laughs> it's got to be. Oh, it's funny to look at all the people. Oh, for God's sake. Where are we going then after this? Are we changing city? Hmm. Oh, look. Yes. She black, he white. They're not together, are they? <laughs> I'm putting them together. He's very, very rich. He's incredibly rich. And that's that. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's... I don't know what's going on there, but they're together now because we said so. Congratulations, couple, on your life of happiness. Right. Shut up. It's not a, It's not the daughter. They're together. I'm not drunk, honestly. They're together. Shut up. Uh, right, next one. Drug dealer. We may have failed on that. We may have failed, but let's not talk about it. Uh, drug dealer. Should we go to Compton? Should we just have a look? Because I'm really curious. Here we go. So I was going to walk like from there to there or something. What a mistake. It's a maker. Which is the worst? Yeah, I did meet one in Salford. You're right. Which is the worst road in Compton? Anyone? What's the worst area? Because it's a big area. Do I have a lot of views? Ah, 756. Not bad. Crenshaw Boulevard. Okay, I'll type that in. No, that's... I want to stick to Compton. I'm afraid. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm hoping for... Do you know what? I'm going to look at the houses a little bit. Yeah, that looks... This looks pretty bad around here. East Maple. Pretty run down. How are we going to identify a drug dealer? Got a b-ball player. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Parking lot of a 7-Eleven. I think you're on the money there. I think we need to go to like a shop. Jerry's liquor store. Liquor store. I think we'll do really well to find a drug dealer. <laughs> I'm sure he's dealt something in his time. It's quite Spanish around there, isn't it? East Compton Boulevard. Let's go more central. We're not looking for a pharmacist. Thank you, Uppercat. Welcome aboard. Come on, we're looking for a drug dealer. We'll know. We'll know. I tell you what. 
I watched a documentary with Louis Theroux and... Oh, hang on. Tell you what. Change this. Thanks for the subscribe, man. You think change the city? Uh, Compton ain't as bad as I thought it would be. Right. It's too spread out. It's too big. Who saw the documentary with Louis Theroux? Milwaukee is awful these days. And I think... Which area was it now? Which area of Milwaukee was it? Yeah, or South Chicago. Yeah, let's go south. Because I can't remember which area it was, but it was had the highest crime rate in America. Right, south side Chicago. So, is it near south side I'm looking in? What's the worst bit? I want a few people's opinions here. What is the worst bit? More south. Like round here, Armour Square. <laughs> Inner city, but not downtown. I don't know. Englewood. I need to know what the worst places are because I don't know. Englewood is pretty bad apparently. Let's see. Might be fine. It might not be bad. Looks fine to me. <laughs> don't know what that kid's doing, but I don't think he's dealing drugs. Nah. We're not going to find anything here. Yeah. How about Rio? Oh, thank you. All right, Skid Row LA. Let's try that. A few of you are saying that. This is quite a hard one, really. Skid Row. That's the whole area, Skid Row. It's a whole area, so it's not just one road. All right, let's try it, man. That looks pretty bad there. I'm trying to listen to you, mate. Oh, God. Okay. What you, what about him? It's going to be hard to tell, isn't it? I think I think we've got a drug dealer in that frame, don't you? I mean Oh, hang on. I mean, what's he doing? What's he doing? And this guy leaning in the car. That is, I think we found it 100%. I'm assuming. You can almost see it in his hand. You can almost see it being transferred. All right. I'm happy with that. I'm happier with that than that than with the first one. Hot air balloon. <laughs> Racism. They're just talking about the weather. Can't win, can you? I said him as well. He's white, so shut up. 
Uh, right, a hot air balloon. I think I need your help here. Richard Branston Island. That's a good shout. Let me try and find this. God, LA is big, isn't it? Jesus. What's it called? Is it near the Bahamas? Anyone know? It's a little geography quiz here, kind of. First one to get the name of Richard Branson's Island. Necker. Yes, that's right. Necker Island. So what country is it in? Let's have a look. I mean, there might not be one here. Oh, it's in the British Virgin Islands. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Makes sense. Right, let's let's see. Oh my God, you can't even put the guy down here. What a crushing blow. That is a crushing blow, mate. All right, all right. Albuquerque, New Mexico, during the balloon fiesta. I like the sound of that. We're looking for a hot air balloon. It's a nice... It's a good one. It's a, it's a nice, well-behaved one. Now, where do they have... Where do they have it, though, guys? Where is this festival? We need to know this. Cappadocia. Cappadocia, Turkey? No, no. I'll, I'll go there if we don't find one here. Is it just anywhere in Albuquerque? All right, well, if no one gives me the answer. North Valley. Okay, let's try it. If we don't find one here, we'll go straight to Turkey. You can't argue with that. Let's go to a park. Balloon Festival Park. Got it. Balloon Fiesta Park. There you go. That's a beast. Sorry. Hey, shut up. I've done it. What a stubborn Brit. Go to Turkey. Well, I got here, didn't I? I've got... How many more hot air balloons do you want to friggin' see? I wonder if we've got an interracial couple here as well. An actual one. A definite one. Oh. <laughs> no. It's too blurry. Well, we've done it. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Even you impatient gits. Man in a kilt. It's only one turkey. There's only one country this could be. And it ain't there. It's here. Right, I'm thinking Aviemore sounds like a kind of place we might find someone in a kilt. Or Balmoral. Where's Balmoral? A turkey in a kilt, yeah. Let's find Balmoral. Where do they have the Highland Games? Does anyone know that? Oh, Edinburgh Castle. Thank you, Cyber Decker. Subscribe with Twitch Prime. Um, Edinburgh Castle. I came to Edinburgh once. It was actually when I just finished my cycle trip. I flew back to... No, it was another time. I flew back to Edinburgh and I just wandered up. Hang on, I can't. There it is. I wandered up to Edinburgh Castle just checking it out and I just so happened to have timed it and this huge parade was coming down the street the bagpipes were you could hear them a mile off and it was it sent goosebumps down my spine it sent shivers down my spine it really did uh, right we're looking for guys in kilts outside the train station in why are we in a cell Thanks, Cyber. I love your company. 
Won't be any at the castle, a couple of you reckon. Well, we've got cannons. I do tell that one at parties. Puts people to sleep at the end of the night. Look. What's going on here? Come on. Surely a guy in a kilt. <laughs> Drug dealer. Got one. <laughs> um, none here. The road up to the castle. Yeah, I was thinking that. I'm going to put more down, more down here. I'm just going to have a look from this height. We're doing well here. You know, we're going to get this done in time. In good time. Change the date to summer, yeah. No, uh, you can't on these, though, can you? These are one-offs. No. All right, we'll go to the Royal Mile. Castle Hill, yeah. Because there'll be a guy playing the bagpipe, surely. Or someone on a stag do or something. Got to be a guy with some bagpipes up here. If not, what's he playing at? Alright, let's change the date. That's November, May, July. Let's do July 2014. Where is everyone? Lockdown wasn't implemented for another six years. June 2015. Any better? This is roughly when I was here, actually. Okay, this is getting more crowded now. House of Scotland. I feel like we're getting warmer. Come on, got to be a bagpipe playing kilt wearing man. Need a church for a wedding. Yeah. Unlikely that you'll get a wedding though, isn't it? Try August for the fringe. Yeah. August. That's what we're currently on. This is fringe time. Might need some of you to be eagle-eyed here. Because I'll probably miss it, knowing me. Ah, oh, we've got some tartan. But it's not a kilt. We've got a bloody stormtrooper there. I mean, what more do you want? You're kidding. A stormtrooper, but no man in a kilt. What's going on here? He's playing the bagpipes. Look. Yeah, Limmy's show is really good. I like Limmy. He's really funny. He ain't in a kilt. That's unbelievable. How can you play the bagpipes? Not wearing a kilt. Disgrace to Scotland. Well... <laughs> Well, well, I think Highland Games in Canmore. That's what I was asking you. Where's the Highland Games set? Where does it take place? I'm just looking here at different times of year. Disappointed. Kilt's more likely in the summer. You'd be surprised. They're very hard blokes, the Scots. They don't really care about the cold. They don't really care if their knackers get shrink down to the size of a an acorn. All right, we'll try Murrayfield. Then we'll try, yeah, Murrayfield for the rugby because it's just down the road. Where is it, mate? 
I can't find it. Ah, oh, there it is. All right. Come on. Come on. God, gots to be. I think we've got it here. I think whoever suggested this is... I don't want to jinx it, but I think you've got it. We're in the right section. We're in the right section. A miserable looking French woman. They're losing in the rugby. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's a kilt. And and this guy as well. That's a, Is that a woman? That's a woman in a kilt. This guy... He might be asleep, but he's wearing a kilt. Well done, guys, for suggesting that. Well done. Well done, laddie. Get in. Oh, run out of banks. I'll be right back. How's everyone doing? Is everyone all right? Thanks everyone who is engaging in this stream. All 720 of you. The numbers are growing each week because it's the best stream around. Yeah. The beer is Banks's Amber Bitter. Brewed Originally in Warsaw, but now it's brewed in Wolverhampton. I haven't seen David Firth stream, no. I haven't. I've only watched Limmy's and I've also watched Jay from the Inbetweeners stream. Because why wouldn't you watch that? Um, no, I've got to watch David Firth stream. What's he do? Rate the beer. I don't know. Eight out of ten. Yeah. The last one we're doing, guys, we've done really well here, is a full kit wanker. I feel like saving this for another sport-themed one, but um, it's got to be done. It's a, it's a hilarious thought. Um, full kit wanker. I feel like coming up with a rule that we're not allowed. Blackpool, that's a good shout. I don't want to go in a stadium first. I think that's cheating. Because we could easily find one in a stadium. So that's what we're going to fall back on. I am going to go to Blackpool. A full kit wanker, by the way, for people who maybe don't watch football or soccer, as some of you call it, is just one of those annoying kids who has the full kit. The socks, it's got to be socks shorts and shirt you know most normal people just wear the shirt but some twats wear the the socks rolled up right to their knees even when they're going to the cinema or on holiday to benny dorm or something so some of you think blackpool blackpool pleasure beach honestly this will be so funny if yeah not someone playing football it's not not someone participating or or at the stadium but we might we may have to settle on the stadium if we can find a full kit wanker in another place it will be <laughs> so funny they might be 2 years old most of them are 2 or 3 years old to be fair we can't go to a football stadium yet guys i'll make that very clear a f th there wouldn't be a wanker then there'd just be someone at Someone watching a. Someone watching the football. <laughs> I don't think we're going to find a full kit wanker. Let's face it, but we'll have a good go. Wait. Oh. We've got a a kid in a Blackpool shirt, but it's not a full kit. It's not a full kit. Damn. This is Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's a little theme park. In the seaside city or town of Blackpool, which is famous for being um, not the best. 
we are looking for a full kit wanker. Great suggestion. All right, we're coming out of here now. I'm going to have a quick look. This is kind of a British one. Yeah, Liverpool City Centre. You've got it. You got it, mate. Um, maybe sort of in the mall, in the in the shopping, St John's Shopping Centre, maybe. It's not very busy, is it? Brief <laughs> briefcase wanker. Now we're gonna have to go onto the main street in Liverpool, one of the main streets. Parker Street. Thanks, mate. Bus wanker. Why can't I move? I put it down on the one. Put it down on this one, mate. Right, we can move now. This is good. This is busy. Got to be a full kit wanker here. Gots to be. What is a wanker? Who knows? Not, well, don't answer that. People overuse these words, I think. Oh, you twat. Oh, you wanker. Oh, he's a knob, he is. Doesn't mean anything. People always putting each other down. Definitely going to find an interracial couple, I would have thought. Because we technically... I don't know, actually, in Liverpool. Technically, we haven't really got one, have we? So keep your eyes peeled, kids. I'm going to try another five minutes of this. Then we'll go to... Go to a stadium. What's this? Oh, fight imperialism. Didn't know imperialism was still on the rise. Oh, you've dropped your sheets, mate. Change year. Yeah. He's kind of... Is that a full kit wanker? Kind of. He has got the official... Trousers of a football club. I can't figure out what football club that is. It might be Tranmere Rovers. No. Fair enough. Yeah, I can change... I can change the date, but... Hmm? Wolves. Wolverhampton. Could try Wolverhampton. I was hopeful in Liverpool, to be honest. I really was. Still kind of am. It would just take time. I don't see the need to change the um, date here because it's really busy. Where do kids go? I'd say one of them could be a very small time drug dealer in their little suburb. Go to Leeds, it's full of wankers. <laughs> My mate Dixon wouldn't be happy about that statement. School playground, no, but they would they'd be in their uniform numpty. <laughs> South America, do you think? Yeah, I think this is a bit ambitious, wasn't it? Yeah. Too many layers. Good point. Okay, I think this was a pipe dream, wasn't it? Nothing but a pipe dream. Apparently you used to be able to drive down here. All right. I'm going to have one more look 
in 2017. It's pretty dead now. Even though it is due. Oh! Oh my god! What's that? <laughs> what? It's a Le Isn't that a Leeds badge? What is that, guys? Oh my god! No, but you don't need the shoes. It's just the socks. He's got the socks, mate. He is a full kit wanker. He's... <laughs> It is Leeds, isn't it? No, I don't... Well, what, are, what socks are they then if they're not the official socks? I just need to confirm. I can't believe we found a Leeds wanker when one of you said... Hang on, I've got to Google this. I've got to make sure. Unikit... Hang on. Unibet Leeds kit grey. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That might even be him. What a wanker. Wow, I can't believe we've done that. Especially when one of you kept banging on about Leeds is full of wankers, go to Leeds. We didn't even need to. We didn't even need to go to Leeds to find a wanker. I'm joking, by the way. Um, there's good and bad people everywhere, and we all know that. But that is... Socks aren't right. I don't... Come on, mate. We're not going to do better than that. We ain't... G He's even got football boots on. Leeds came to us. We ain't doing better than that. And that is that. Look at these. Salah, Mo, Gerard. Amazing. What a stream. Thanks for being with me, guys. That was really good fun. I'll stick around on the chat for 10 minutes to... The shorts aren't. Well, what are they then? I'm sorry, but he qualifies. And that's that. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm less happy with the interracial couple. God, that sounds bad. That sounds wrong. Scroll back and <laughs> see the rest of the stream. You'll know what I mean. Right, okay. <laughs> Good night, everyone. We'll... we'll uh, yeah, he's a he's a wanker. That that's that's the that's the verdict. Doesn't matter if it's a full kit or not at all. Right, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Um, tune in on Thursday. I'm gonna nail this Age of Empires thing. I'm gonna set up a system where boats can come in to my harbour, but there'll be watchtowers bombarding them. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, cheers, mate. Cheers, everyone. Barry, 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 Barry. <laughs> Have a good weekend, everyone. No, wait, the weekend's over. See ya. <laughs>